in this video we will be discussing how to write non-terminating and repeating decimals into rational form non-terminating and repeating so our first example is 0 0.6 and bar on our decimal 6 so we know that that is equivalent to 0 0.6 Six, 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 and so on. So how are we going to write 0 0.6 bar into rational form? So let me teach you our shortcut. So that is equivalent to copy 6 over, instead of writing 0, we're going to use 9. 6 over 9. In simplest form, that is divisible by 3. So 3, 6. 3 over 2. And 3 over 2, if you're going to press in your calculator, that is 0 0.66666. Okay, let me show you using my calculator. So, 2 divided by 3, okay, 0 0.66666. So that means our answer is correct. Next, our second case. Let's say 0 0.12 bar. So, that is equivalent to... 0 0.12121212 and so on. That is equal to copy 12 over two decimal places. Since we have bar, we're going to write 9. 9. Two decimal places. So we have 2, 9 on our denominator. Divisible by 3. So 4, 8, 12. Uh, divisible by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. So 4 over 99 divided by 3. 33. Now, let us check using our calculator. So, 4 divided by 33. 0.12121212121212121. Next, number 3. 0 0.123. Then our bar is located on 2 and 3 only 1 is not included so that is 0 0.12323 and so on how are we going to write that decimal into rational number so our shortcut copy 1 2 3 then subtract the number that is not included in the bar. In this case, 1. So copy 1, subtract 1. Over, we have 2 bar in our decimal place. So 2, 9. 9, 9. Since 1 is not included in our bar, replace that to 0. Again, let us repeat. Our denominator, 2 bar, so 9, 9, then 0. Now, we have 122 over 9, 9, 0. 
divisible by 2. So this is 61 over 990 divided by 2, 495. Okay? Let us check using our calculator. 61 divided by 495. 0 0.12323232323 yeah and our last case number 4 let's say we have 3.15 then our bar is on 15 so copy 315 minus 3 is not included in our bar, so we need to subtract 3 over how many decimal places? We have 2. So that is included in our bar, so 9, 9. That's all because our decimal places is 2, so our denominator must be 2 numbers as well. Now subtract 3, 3, 1, 5 minus 3, that is 3, 1, 2 over 99 divisible by 3 divisible by 3 so 312 divided by 3 this is 104 over 33 okay we know that this is 3. Point one five one five one five one five and so on. Let us check if one o four over thirty three is equal to three point fifteen fifteen. So one o four divided by thirty three. Three point fifteen 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 fifteen. So that is correct. So that is on how to write. non-terminating and repeating decimals into rational numbers. Now, I want you to answer the following. Letter A, 0 0.5. Letter B, 2.75, then bar on top. Okay, if you want to answer, Pause, then resume watching if you are done. Now let's try to check. 0 0.5. Oh, let's say you have bar. So that is 5 over 9. Simple as that. Because this is in our simplest form. So we know that this is 0 0.5555. Let us check. 5 divided by 9, 0.5555. Number 2, 275 minus 2 over 99. So this is 273 over 99. Is it divisible by 3? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, ah, yeah. So divisible by 3. 273 divided by 3. So 91 over 33. So let us check. We know that this is 2.757575 and so on. Let us check 91. 91 over 33. 2.757575 and so on. So that is non-terminating and repeating decimals into rational form. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And please share to your classmates and try to solve more problems in order for you to master on how you to transform our non-terminating and repeating decimals into rational form. In this video, we will be discussing how to transform terminating decimal into 
rational form or terminating decimals in rational form. So let's say we have 0 0.25 right into rational form. So this is equal to just copy our whole number, in this case 25, over, count the number of decimal points. So in this case, 1, 2. So replace it to 0. So 1, 2, then write 1. So 25 over 100. Of course, we can simplify this one. Our final is 1 over 4. Always write your answer into simplest form. Next, number two. What if we have negative 3.5? Okay, negative 3.5. Copy. Negative 35. Okay. Over how many decimal we have? One. So one zero. Then cut just write one. So that's equivalent to negative 35 over 10. Again, negative 35 over one decimal place. So write into zero, then write one. Now, simplify. This is equal to divisible by 5. So, negative 7 over 2. Okay. Negative 35 divided by 5, that is negative 7. 10 divided by 5, that is 2. Next, number 3. 0 0.00001 right into rational form. So we have a number which is 1 over how many decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 zeros in our denominator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, write 1 on the left side, left most on the left side. So this is the rational form of this decimal number. What if we have number four, negative 1.25? So copy negative 1. Point, uh, negative 125 over copy negative 125 over how many decimal place? 1, 2. So we have two zeros, then write 1, so 100. And that is equal to divisible by 25. So 125 divided by 25, that is negative 5 over 100 divided by 25, 4. negative 5 over 4. So that is on how to write terminating decimals to rational form. Now I want you to answer the following. Letter A, 0 0.45. Letter B, Negative 1.75. Letter C. 0 0.0005. Letter D. Negative 2.70. A, B, C, and D. 
If you want to try, you can post the video. Then after answering, please resume watching to check your answers. This time, let's check letter A. This is equivalent to 45 over two decimal places, one, two. So 45 over 100. Divisible by five. So 45 divided by five, that is nine. Over 100 divided by five, that is 20. So the rational form is 9 over 20. Let us check B. Negative 1.75. So this is negative 175 over 2 decimal places. So two zeros in our denominator. So over 100. Again, divisible by... 25. So negative 175 divided by 25. So how many 25? So there are 7. So negative 7 over 100 divided by 25. So negative 7 over 4. Did you get the same answer? Next, so 5 over how many zeros or how many decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 zeros in our denominator and 5 over 10,000. Divisible by 5. So 1 over, so 2, 1, 2, 3. 1 over 2,000. So that is 10,000 divided by 5, which is 2,000. And our last number, negative 2.70. So this is negative 270 over 2 decimal places. So two zeros in the word denominator. Okay? So we can cancel 0 and 0. So that is negative 27 over 20. This is our ratio. So I hope that you got 4 over 4. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And now let us proceed in um, non-terminating and non-repeating decimal. Non-terminating and repeating decimals in rational form. Those are those number with bar in our decimal number. So kindly watch our next video. And also please share to your classmate and don't forget to subscribe.